Hey friends, in this video we are going to talk about fertilization. Fertilization is a process in which the fusion of one ovum with one sperm and becoming a zygote. As we know the ovum has 22 eggs and the sperm can have 22 X or 22 Y. This is a female pronucleus and this is a male for pronucleus. Now when the sperm pierces the ovum, the pronucleus of both this uh, both these cells will rearrange themselves and become a single genome that will have a the genome of baby and it is called zygote okay so, uh, the fertilization is happening in the ampulla part of the fallopian tube so you know that the sperm has to travel from vagina to cervix to uterine cavity to the tubes and then they can reach to the ovum the one term capacitation is very important capacitation is the hypermotility of sperm at the end of the journey that means when they reach to the ovum they get hypermotility that is called capacitation sperm attaches to the zona pellucida and zona pellucida is what it is cell membrane of oocyte secondary oocyte and this sperm have some enzymes tissue lytic enzyme hyaluronidase acrosin they will be, uh, help the sperm pierce the oocyte and we will have a zygote that ha that is that have male and female pronucleus fusion now from the zygote the cell will start dividing into multiple cells one from two to from four like that and it will reach at a 16 cell stage which is called morula one thing you should know this thing that this morula stage is achieved at three days three to four days until then the, uh, the zygote is in to fallopian tube so the fallopian tube uh, from the fallopian tube zygote enters into the uterine cavity after three days okay which is the nutrient that is most most important for surviving of this embryo is pyruvate now Morula enters into the uterine cavity four days after the fertilization. How the embryo is getting transported into the fallopian tube? There are two different mechanisms. First is peristalsis of the tube and the second one is movement of cilia. But the peristalsis, peristalsis is uh, considered is a main mechanism for transportation of the tube. So if there is any tubal diseases, this peristalsis is not going to happen. And that's why the embryo cannot be transported to the uterine cavity so that the embryo can implant in the tubes and can we can have a ectopic pregnancy also. This is another aspect. Now, one thing is very important, zona hatching. Zona hatching that means this morula stage and this blastocyst stage is happening inside a zona but if they want to implant if they want to implant into the endometrium they need to come out from this zona like the uh, the uh, hen's egg comes out you know the baby of hen comes out from the egg the similar procedure it's called zona hatching. What is blastocyst? Blastocyst is nothing but a structure in which we have a cell arranged in the uh, circular method. We have inner cell mass and we have this kind of trophoblastic structure. We have a cavity inside that. That's why we, it is called a blastocyst. Inner cell mass makes the embryo and a baby. Trophoblast will make placenta and fetal membranes. Thank you.